Symptoms of a bad transmission control module versus those of a bad transmission. Your car is shifting weirdly. Maybe it's jerking, refusing to go into gear, or throwing up random warning lights. Everyone tells you it's the transmission, right? What if I told you the problem might be something smaller, cheaper, but just as dangerous if ignored? Today, we're digging into one of the most confusing issues car owners face. Symptoms of a failing transmission control module versus a bad transmission. And the crazy thing? Even some experienced mechanics get this one wrong. So by the end of this video, you will know how to tell the difference between a bad transmission control module versus those of a bad transmission without wasting thousands on the wrong fix, as well as learn how to text and reset the transmission control module and what happens when a transmission control module goes bad, but the transmission is good. Now first, what do they both do? Before we start pointing fingers, we need to know who's who. The transmission control module, or TCM, is like the brain of your transmission. It decides when to shift gears, how smoothly it should shift, and how your car responds under different driving conditions. Think of it as the part that tells the transmission what to do and when. Now, the transmission itself? That's the muscle. It's the heavy-duty mechanical system with gears and clutches that actually moves power from your engine to your wheels. The problem is, when things go wrong, the symptoms of a bad TCM can feel almost identical to a failing transmission, and that's where many drivers get ripped off. Now here's where it gets a little trickier and expensive, because if you confuse the two, you could replace the wrong part and still have the same problem. Let me show you why as we now look at the cost. Cost of replacing a bad TCM versus a bad transmission. Here's why it's crucial to diagnose this right. A TCM replacement typically costs anywhere between $300 to $900 depending on your car and whether it needs programming. But a full transmission replacement? You're looking at $3,000 to $5,000 or more, easily one of the most expensive repairs on any vehicle. Now imagine you take your car in, they quote you $4,000 for a new transmission. Then a week later you find out it was a $400 module the whole time. Misdiagnose this issue and you might spend thousands replacing a transmission that wasn't even the problem. Symptoms of a failing TCM versus a bad transmission. Now let's break down the symptoms, because this is where most drivers mix things up. What a bad TCM feels like. Sudden, unpredictable shifting. You might be cruising and the car just slams into a different gear or refuses to shift at all. Stuck in a single gear, your car feels like it's crawling or in limp mode. Check engine light or transmission warning light popping up with codes like P0700 or P0612. Your fuel economy tanks for no reason. Some people even report their transmission refusing to shift out of first gear right after a battery change. Sounds random, right? But it's a known side effect when the TCM loses memory or goes bad. And here's where it really messes with your head. Because even with a brand new transmission, a bad TCM can make it feel like nothing's been fixed. Let's talk about that next. Moving on to a damaged transmission. A bad transmission is more about mechanical failure, such as grinding noises when you shift, gear slipping when you accelerate, like the power just vanishes, a burnt smell coming from the transmission fluid or visible leaks under your car. And if you drain the transmission fluid and see metallic shavings, that's game over, the gears are eating themselves. The overlap between these symptoms is why so many people get stuck in the transmission versus TCM guessing game. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, check out our order video where we compare the symptoms of a bad talk converter versus those of a bad transmission. We will leave the link to the video in the description box below. What happens when a TCM goes bad but the transmission is good? You see, here's something most people don't realize. On some cars, like certain Fords or Volkswagens, the TCM is built into the valve body. So if it fails, you might not even be able to replace it without opening the transmission. That means even diagnosing or replacing the TCM can feel like a full transmission job unless you know what to look for. That's why I always tell people, don't jump straight to replacing the transmission. Test the TCM first, because a $400 electronic issue can masquerade as a $4,000 mechanical failure. How to test and reset a TCM. Testing a TCM isn't as complicated as it sounds. Here's how to figure out if it's your TCM and not the transmission, without ripping anything apart. If you've got a basic scanner in about 15 minutes, try this checklist. Scan for trouble codes. Plug in an OBD2 scanner and look for transmission-related codes like P0700, P0605, or anything pointing to shift solenoids or control errors. Reset the TCM. 
Some vehicles let you do a soft reset by turning the ignition on and off a few times, leaving it in park, then letting the engine idle for a few minutes. This clears temporary memory and adaptive settings. Check grounds and wiring. Corroded connectors, frayed wires, or poor grounding can mimic a bad TCM. Pop the hood and inspect your battery terminals, harnesses, and grounds, especially on older vehicles. Solenoid test. If you're more hands-on, test the solenoids. These are small valves that TCM controls to manage fluid pressure. A stuck solenoid can make the TCM look guilty when it's not. Watch for relearn behavior. After a reset, your car may shift weirdly for a few miles while the TCM relearns your driving habits. This is normal. If things smooth out after 10 to 30 miles, that's a strong clue the TCM was the issue. And here's a quick tip. Some auto parts stores like AutoZone or O'Reilly will scan your car for free. Just ask them to pull transmission codes. You might get the answer without spending a dime. When to replace TCM versus transmission. So when do you pull the trigger on replacing a TCM versus the whole transmission? If the problems are electronic, accompanied by specific codes like the ones mentioned earlier, and your transmission fluid is clean, start with a TCM. If you have grinding, slipping under load, or burnt fluid with metal flakes, the transmission itself is in trouble. I've seen people swap transmissions, spend $5,000, and then come back with the same symptoms, only to discover it was a $15 ground wire corroded under the hood. The key is never to assume, it's cheaper to test the module first. Don't let a misdiagnosis drain your wallet. Knowing the difference between a bad TCM and a failing transmission can save you thousands and a ton of frustration. If you've had similar symptoms or you're not sure which one your car is dealing with, drop your vehicle model and year in the comments. I'll respond with tailored advice. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, because next we're going to talk about the hidden transmission problems most mechanics don't tell you about. You won't want to miss that.